In this lecture, we've been talking about working with reporting in Playwright. There are so many things added in Playwright, at least on the Playwright test department. And this time with the Playwright test, they also added reporting with a lot of enhancement. Of course, the support of Allure reporting. So let's see how it actually works. So reporting in Playwright includes already something like line reporter, dot reporter, JSON reporters, and some experimental reporters like Allure reporters. You can also create your own custom reporters if you wanted to. So those things are already there out of the box this time in this Playwright test. And the reportings, which I was talking about, it's very, very easy to spawn. You can either set it on the Playwright configuration or you can set it on the command line, something like this. So you can specify npx playwright test hyphen hyphen reporter is equal to json which means you're going to generate a json report for you if you specify dot it's going to put dot 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 for all the tests that it's running and then it's going to show the report for you on the console those things are very helpful if you're going to run the tests on the ci cd pipeline same for list and line it's going to show you the list i think the default is a list that's what it shows the tick 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 and all those stuff that's it that's the reporting that we have on the command line interface which is something out of the box available with Playwright. And they also added support of Allure reporting, but for Allure reporting, you need to do some additional configurations that we'll be discussing in this video as well. So the thing is this, still it is an experimental stage, so you need to install an experimental Allure Playwright package. And once you have that installed as a dev dependency or whatever, you also need to install the Allure command line because this Allure command line is something which you'll be using to generate the report. And once you have this command line, you can then run the test as usual, like NPX playwright test, as you can see in the step three, but you need to specify the reporter along with line or whatever with the name of the reporter that you'll be using, which is nothing but the experimental Allure playwright, the same package, yeah? And once you have that, once the test completes its execution, you can then generate the Allure results on this particular folder. It can be any folder for that matter, but I'm just specifying the root directory slash Allure test where the tests are actually executing on the command line. That's the dot slash Allure results. And once you have that, you can then perform an open Allure reporter, which is gonna run a small HTTP server with the Allure reporting interface where you will see all the results coming up for you. So these are the things which is going to be required for you to generate the Allure reporting. And once you have everything in place, you will see a nice little Allure report, very familiar reports for the playwright this time. So let's see all this in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to my VS code. All right. So this is the same project which we have been working so long within our course, at least in this section. And now we're gonna see how we can generate a nice little report this time. We'll see some failures, which is fine because we have intentionally left it as it is. So we'll try running the test and see how the reports will be generated. So the first report which I was talking about, the reporter is equal to uh, line something like this. So if you put line over here, it is gonna generate a line reporter for you. So I'll let the test to complete executing. I was waiting for 10 seconds, which we have given, and you can see that there is a line here. I mean, that's the only line reporter with all the failures. It's gonna put it uh, for you over here. And if you don't specify line, let's say, if you specify dot, you will see that when the test executes, it's gonna create a dot, dot, dot for you on the console. See that, these dots? So that's the dot reporter. I don't really get fascinated about this kinds of reporting. It doesn't look very fascinating for me. I think the list was quite good. The default is list. So if you try running the default without specifying any of these, uh, just run the test. It is gonna see that this is the list which is gonna show the tick as well. Like if any the test passes, it puts the tick there. I really like this one, which is quite cool. And you can also generate a JSON report which you can use for your reporting purpose if you wanted to. So we can generate that as well. So if you just specify the reporter as JSON, you can do that. And you can also use this JSON in combination with the list or dot something like this so list is the default one right so if you specify with the dot then it is going to put the dot 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 thingy there along with the json report 
will be generated once the test execution completes. So this is another reporting. But let's see how we can make use of the experimental allure reporting of the playwright. So in order to do that, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my package.json file over here and then I'm just going to search for experimental allure playwright and that's going to be 0 .0 0.0.3 and that's it. Once we have this, we can also install the allure command line, which is required as well. I mean, you can do that from here as well, instead of you typing it. So you can just do something like npm i hyphen d of the allure. And you can see that automatically everything comes for me based on the intelligence coming from this one fig. It's quite interesting as well. So you can just use the allure command line. See that it brings me up. Oops, I think it didn't choose that. Here we go. That's it. It's added as well. So this is the another package which I require. That's it. So once I have all these things, I can then start running the same test that we just executed over here. But this time I'm going to be running with the experimental allure playwrights. I don't want to type that. Copy paste it over here. Let's try running this. All right, that is completed. And you will see there is something called as allure results already. So this results is going to be helpful for you to generate the report from the allure command line interface that we have installed. So I'm going to do this npx allure of generate and then i'm gonna hit dot allure results so i'm gonna use this guy which is gonna generate another folder for us you will see that allure reports comes in this reports if you try opening up and if you try running it it is not gonna show you anything interesting there so let me try opening it with the probably safari or firefox browser you see that it is just going to show something like loading, not very fancy or interesting because we need to have the Allure reporting server to be up and running. So in order to do that, I'm just going to do this npx Allure of open dot slash Allure report. Let's try running it. So you can see that there is a web server just spawned in and it started up the Allure report for us quite interesting so this is the report that we have got we have got a defect as well like google search it has got failed uh, like it couldn't be able to click this button we know the reason for this failure which is all right and because we have stopped the retries it is not even showing the retries for us i'm pretty excited to see how the retries work uh, but let's go to the suite and you will see that it is showing us all the test runs happened over here and also it shows me the iphone based test execution that we just did over here and you can see that it shows the graph, all good. I'm gonna stop the test execution. And now we can also do this, the retry option which I was talking about. Let's try doing the retry by setting the retries within our test execution over here. So I'm just gonna go to the playwright config and I'm gonna set the retries as one, uh, put a comma there. And then I'm gonna set the reporter as well. So this time I'm gonna set the reporter as the experimental allure reporter that we just passed from the command line so i don't have to pass anything from the command line there rather i'm just going to pass everything on the configurations that we were creating all these days within our course so i'm just going to save this and now i'm not even going to pass any of these things let me even get rid of all these things even we can remove the, all these things and we can pass in as a script within our package.json file but that's something different and we will talk about that later point of time but you will see that it is working fine i think it is running and generating the allure report for us and now it's going to even do a retry i guess so this test fails and it's going to open the browser once again it's trying to do a retry it's going to still fail because we have not handled that situation which is okay there we go and you can see that the files here increased tremendously so i would probably say if i try doing a generate report uh, probably 
clean and generate and it is generated so let me try doing an open to show me the reports you can see that it is showing up for us over here the iPhone test has got failed um, which is all right and now let's see which one has got failed this one and you can see that it is showing me even a video this time which is awesome and there is a retries as well cool so it shows me the retry option which it has performed there uh, and let's go back to my reporter and let's see my failed test along with the video that I have got let's try playing that you can see that it shows me all these things over here pretty cool so this is the power of the experimental allure reporting within playwright and this makes things more easier much more verbose for us to see what's really going on within our test and I think this is pretty cool and you can see all the graphs timelines and behavior of the slow test and the fast test with the tags that we discussed in our earlier videos all these things comes in over here that's it guys that's about the reporting part of the playwright test runner once again thank you very much for watching this video you guys have a great day